Hey everyone, Farmer Kate here and we are down in our reptile house to have a bit of a check-in with one of our most famous tortoises. So you probably remember that about a year ago now, Tilly, we had started with some problems in her laying a clutch of eggs and she ended up having to go into surgery which was all filmed on the Yorkshire vet which you might have seen and we kind of quite a while post surgery and because she is in such a long recovery period you're inevitably have going to have a few setbacks during that process so we've had a little bit of a setback with how her shell is healing up so we're going to explain what's going on and how we, what we're doing to get her better Hey Tilly, how are we doing today? Let's have a look at you. Good girl, come here. Come here, well done. There we go. So here we are with Tilly and the kind of good news about her is she's eating really, really well. She's drinking really, really well. She's really, really active, which is good news. But unfortunately, we do have a little bit of bad news on how this shell underneath is healing. Now she is really good at letting me kind of look at this area to check up on her. She's kind of used to it at this point. So what we've got here is these kind of four scoots and you can probably tell one of them doesn't look too good and that's because one of those scoots has come away to leave this more exposed area. So this is kind of shell that's newly growing and needs to kind of harden up and reseal to the edges there. And the reason we kind of got into this situation is this operation site does take a while to heal and we were using all kinds of things to encourage that healing process, getting it really, really good. But unfortunately what happened is a little bit of urine and water must have got up inside the protective barrier we put on there. And that caused a few issues which led to the scoots kind of separating from what was underneath them which wasn't really too good, but we kind of got Matt back in and we have like a plan in place. He did eventually remove this scooter. We did kind of try to keep it on for as long as we could, just because this area was best off being protected. But what we're doing now, and as we have been for quite a while, is flushing this area with saline. And that means any kind of particles or debris that need to come away just kind of fall out. And then we put in a spray on there, which encourages shell growth and healing and prevents like infections and things like that. So it's going to be a while to recovery, unfortunately, but we're definitely heading down that path, but probably at the rate of a tortoise. It isn't all bad news though, Matt, is, the vet, is really happy with how the majority of this shell is healed up. So you can see between the patches of surgical cement on a few of these sections, it's actually healed up really, really well. Not so well in other areas, but that the, that's the areas we're treating, keeping an eye on, and hopefully we're going to get there, aren't we Tilly? I really hope you've enjoyed this little update on Tilly here. We absolutely can't wait to get her back in her usual enclosure um, to see members of the public again. But until that time, it's best off in our isolation section here where we can give her all the treatments and stuff. But we do try to keep you updated as much as possible. So from me and Tilly here, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you later.